Now our intermediate value theorem question. So I made an entire video on this intermediate value theorem. There's a couple examples there. Uh, you want to review those and we're going to review this one as well. Remember I, our idea if we're trying to show a root, a root means a solution if we're not clear about what root means in this case. So root is the same as solution. So we're looking to find a solution to this equation in the interval between zero and one. So actually this is even easier than the examples that I did in the previous video because we're given the endpoints. We're told between zero and one. And so our steps there, the first thing that we did is um, we need a function. And the way we got a function is we're going to make one side of this equation equal to zero. So I'm going to actually look at x to the fifth minus 2x squared minus x plus 3 minus radical x squared plus 8. equals zero. So that tells me that the non-zero non-zero side is going to be my function value. So let's state that explicitly. Now let, let f of x be x to the fifth minus 2x squared minus x plus 3 minus radical x squared plus 8. Now, if this is a true statement, then I should be able to show that at uh, the sign of my function values at the endpoints are different. One will be positive, one will be negative. It doesn't matter which one is positive, which one is negative. What matters is that they have different signs. So I'm going to say note at f of 0 is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 minus radical 8. Now radical 8 I know to be 2 times root 2. I know square root of 2 uh, is about 1.4. So uh, 3 minus 2 root 2 is going to be positive. Now f of 1 is going to be 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 3 um, minus radical 9. And so I'll have 3 minus 3 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, it's going to be negative 2. Great. And so when I'm trying to find a solution to this equation, that's the same as trying to find the 0 of this function. So 0 will be my intermediate value. So I'm going to say, since f is continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 1 and since 0 is between f of 0 and f of 1 comma then by the IVT there is a number C 
between zero and one, such that f of c equals zero. That is, c to the power of five minus two c squared minus c plus three equals radical c squared plus eight. Oh, I shouldn't have said equals yet. Got ahead of myself. Should have just said minus radical c squared plus eight equals zero or c to the power of five minus two c squared minus c plus three equals radical c squared plus eight. So what are the key statements that we need if we want to get full credit for this type of question for answering it on the test? We need to define what our function value is. We need to show this work where we see that at the endpoints what the function values are. We need to state, we don't have to prove it, but we need to state that the function is continuous on a closed interval. And we need to state that zero is an intermediate value. That is zero is between f of zero and f of one. We need to conclude that by the IVT, there's a number C between zero and one such that f of c equals zero. And then we would like to answer the original question which had to do with an equation, not with a function. So this can serve as a template along with the other examples uh, from the previous video of how to answer the intermediate value theorem question. Because I will guarantee you there will be an intermediate value theorem question on the test.